Oh, little kitty, it's surprising to see you gardening today. But I fear that the change in this flower's habitat might not work when it comes to its adaptation. Adaptation? Yes, little kitty. Hey, friends, I'm sure you must have heard the term adaptation before and wondered what does it mean and how does it help living organisms to survive and thrive? So, in today's episode, let us explore this essential surviving topic and answer an interesting academic question. What is plant adaptation? Zoom in! So, what is adaptation in plants? As you must have seen, whenever you travel to a different city or country, you find it extremely difficult to adjust to it for a while due to changing climate, food or water. But as time progresses, your body begins to adapt to the new environment that helps you to feel better and settle down. So, this process of change by which an organism or species becomes better suited to its environment is called adaptation. In other words, adaptations often develop in response to a change in the organism's habitat. And the same is the case with the plants. Let me explain. You probably are familiar with the plants in your environment. They are everywhere, over the land, on top of the mountains and underwater. But did you know that those plants are specially designed to live there? Yes, a tree that lives in the desert probably wouldn't last in the rainforest. And a tall tree can't survive in grasslands. The reason plants are able to survive in their environment is because of its adaptations. A plant adaptation is a unique feature a plant has that allows it to live and grow in its habitat or place that it lives. And once you move these trees from their natural habitat, they will often find it hard to survive and eventually die. So, now, as you know what plant adaptation means, let us briefly look at how these trees have managed to adapt and evolve according to their habitats, starting with plant adaptation in deserts. As we know, the desert has scarcity of water with dry land. Thus, the plants like the thorny cactus and Joshua tree have small or no leaves and many spines that help them conserve water. These tiny leaves have a thick wax coat that serves to retain water for a long time. While the leafless plants like cactus store water in their green stem. Also, the roots of these desert plants are near the soil surface that help to soak up water before it evaporates in the sky. The growth is slow as the plants do not have to make much food. Next comes the plant adaptations in the tropical rainforest. The tropical rainforest has a unique environment due to its hot climatic condition and heavy rain, which can cause problems such as promoting the growth of bacteria and fungi, which could be harmful to plants. So the plants here have drip tips and waxy coverings on leaves to shed the extra water. Not only that, but the plants also have prop roots that help support them in the shallow soil. And due to the abundant growth of plants, some plants grow on top of one another to reach the sunlight. The types of plants we can find in the tropical rainforest like bromeliads and lianas. Let us move further towards the temperate forest, which is blessed with trees from small to tall that witnesses four distinct seasons and have a harsh cold season. So most big trees here have thick barks to shed them against the chilly winters. 
Also, they have broad leaves that capture a lot of sunlight. But these leaves can weigh down the trees in winter. Thus, deciduous trees drop their leaves to minimize the water loss in autumn. Now, that's really smart. Some examples of the kind of trees found here are wild flowers, oak, ash, maple, etc. Now, let us learn about plant adaptation in water. You see, things are a bit different in plants that grow into the water. We all have seen the leaves are green in color. But in water plants, the leaves are greener on the upper side, whereas red in lower portions, as the top part is exposed to chlorophyll. Also, these plants do not have stems as they do not require water to be absorbed. Some examples of these beautiful plants are water lily and lotus. So, in conclusion, adaptation is not an easy process and takes time to develop. Also, there are possibilities that the change in these adaptations may prove either favorable or unfavorable and might be a matter of life and death for these plants. Hence, it is necessary to have a piece of proper knowledge about their existence before planting them, so that they could survive for thousands and thousands of years. Trivia time! Did you know the roots of the mesquite have been measured up to a length of 50 to 80 meters? and is considered to be the longest among desert plants. Another fun fact for you is that the grasslands are also known as prairies and have deep roots that help them to survive prairie fires. Hope you learned something new in today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, oh, never mind. <laughs>